before Bayo, and like I noticed that like at 50% back air almost killed. And I was like, okay, this character's bonkers. <laughs> was it Dubose and Numa? This should be pretty fun. Uh, from my experience, when I used to main Aegis, uh, you know, this matchup's pretty dead even. Uh, yeah, Inkling's got a, a, a good amount of edge guards. Uh, however, the sword and speed from Mithra is enough to like outbox Inkling. Yeah, so it it's a completely different game off stage. You know, it's tragic. Numa just answered with uh, a forty percent combo, but you know that that stock just got ripped from her. Oh, foresight. Oh, misinput maybe? Meant to up B, accidentally up aired. What is happening? It, oh yeah, but Inkling makes it back to the Inklings. Inkling. It's an it's a weird matchup. It, it's it uh, like. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. I love uh, how good Debose is at calling out jumps. They That's like one of their best things about their neutral. That was really smart. So they waited in front of Mithra until Mithra was like forced to launch it in front of her. And then just, you know, roll behind and up smash. She can turn it around, yeah. I yes. To wait. Yeah, hopefully, I, I would like game two to be closer because that first stock, like, or really, like, the first stock, the missed tech, and then the, the SD on stock two, that was just unfortunate. Not usually the type of play we see from Numa, so I, I would like game two to be a little bit better. I expect game two to probably be a little bit closer. Yeah, and the classic Numa meditating uh, pregame. I love it. Uh, she will, like, take her fingers and go like this, like a ninja, <laughs> and then, like, meditate for a second. It reminds me of, uh, you know who MN Leo is? He's a uh, SoCal Mega Man me, uh, me Gunner main. And he will straight up, like, for like a minute straight, just like sit here and shake his hands in front of his head. I he calls it like a forced adrenaline rush technique, or uh, what we call the fart. He talks like it's an anime too, because like, if he messes, if someone like interrupts him, he'll talk on Twitter. He's like, he messed up my technique, and I couldn't focus on the set anymore because it takes ten minutes to reset. And I'm like. Well, that <laughs> that's hard. He's he's cracked. <laughs> he's got Charlie the King wins. Yeah, Wolf is just low tier. Yeah, this is so far a lot closer. That's actually a, not a dead angle. Good DI from Debose. Yeah, that that uh, <laughs> when I learned that the gentleman jab from Pyre killed, I was like, oh, I will be spamming this on ledge. That is my ledge trapping. Oh, and a good roll read from Numa, taking that uh, first stock right back. One of my favorite things about Debose is how like fine they are with the nuances of Inkling, because like you hit that splatter bomb right like in the face, and it gets sent the other way. It's like, what do I do now? <laughs> I've seen it happen too many times where it, you just get a random reverse box on splat bomb, and I'm like, okay, well, how are you okay with this? I would drop Inkling in a heartbeat if that ever happened to me.
good wait from Numa. Patience in this matchup, you, you know, when you're in the lead against Inkling, you, you, like, you're not forced to interact. Um, a lot of the stuff they do, there's smaller hitboxes, so if you like slow walk a little bit, give yourself some time to react, uh, th that's where an A just shines. Props to Dubo staying patient. Why they buffed it, I don't know. I saw the patch notes and I was like, I instantly thought of Debose because Debose is the only inkling I see actually use uh, splatter shot in, in neutral. That's true. Yeah. I love when you, uh, playing against Pyre, it's always like you're at high percents and you get hit by some random move and die. And you're just like, okay, yeah, that killed. That makes sense. Yeah. Or you get hit by like the reverse hit of down air and it and it still kills you and you're like, oh, yep, well, that makes sense. Yeah, very sad. Uh, thinking about what that set might have been without that, that, what happened in game one, yeah, Numa not very happy. Which is understandable. That game one was tragic. Uh, you know, doesn't happen all the time for her and you know, 